Hey guys, Paul on the Plane back here with you. Welcome to Episode 2 of Faking Space, now in our second season. Today we're going to focus on the Himawari Geostationary Satellite, which we're told is something like a mind-boggling 22,000 miles away from the Earth, sending us a real picture every 10 minutes. Did you know the Himawari um, ironically means sunflower? So, yeah. There's proof of the heliocentric sun worshippers model right there. So why are we picking on the Himawari today? Well, defenders of the heliocentric model love to point to the quote-unquote almost real-time images from the Himawari as proof of a globular Earth, since it allegedly gives us a picture every 10 minutes, and the weather uh, data seems to be, you know, pretty current. Well, unfortunately for the ballers, we're going to debunk that completely here, simply in the next five minutes, and show you how they fake it all. Let's cut right to the smoking gun to start. Here uh, is the website anyone can go to and see this all for themselves. On a side note, the Himawari is operated by the Japanese Meteorological Space Agency and brought to us by the NOAA, the National Oce Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOES Geostationary Satellite Server. And I'll include the links here for all this stuff in the video description so you can check it out right now if you want. Okay, so when you're at the FTP site, Click here for the site description, so when you do, a text file comes up, and you can see right here, they tell you that all of the images in the archive use the underlying colored land images from the NASA Blue Marble data set. Yep. So the Himawari is actually completely, totally debunked right there. These aren't real pictures coming from a satellite in a geostationary orbit above the Earth getting snapped every 10 minutes and being beamed down for us to all ooh and ah over. They take the Blue Marble data, uh, data set, which I'm sure you remember, they admitted years ago was a flat strip data pieced together uh, by an artist named Rob Simon in Photoshop because it had to be, <laughs> right? But to move on and then to just briefly show you how they generate a picture every 10 minutes with what appears to be accurate and current weather, this is basically what they do. Now, don't take my word for it. As I always say, go check it out for yourself. Number one, they have already created and stored transparent images of the weather over the oceans using climate simulation software, which they openly admit right here that they've done climate simulations up to the year 2095. But it's actually the year 2100 on this FTP server folder, and here's one of the images. And following some of the other images uh, that you can find where the land masses are transparent, and they use all this simulation software to come up with the weather over the oceans. You know, since our weather data comes from our ground-based Doppler radar, and it's impossible to use ground-based systems to cover the entire vast oceans, so that's where the weather over the oceans comes from, their software simulations. Number two, now for the weather over the land, the NOAA has supercomputers that take data coming in from all over the world, Doppler radar feeds, and crunch it all together and combine it with the weather simulation data over the oceans. So they come up with a complete composite <laughs> uh, weather quote-unquote map, which is then wrapped around a ball in their 3D modeling software programs, just like we've shown countless times in our previous episodes with the Earth and the planets, etc. So... Then what we get are composite images like this that are created in the 3D modeling software. The current Doppler weather uh, data over land and the simulated weather over the oceans, and it looks like this. So this particular image is on the FTP server and is date and time stamped with October 11th, 2017 at 11.05 a.m. I just chose one randomly. Notice the image shows you the weather for the whole ball and not just part of the ball that is lit by the sun at this particular time. No terminator line or anything like that right okay now here's the kicker go to the other file folder which is the images that we get to see and are told are real pictures from space but what they've simply done is taken the weather map picture of the whole ball they created and they superimpose it over the blue marble data set just like they said they did so what you can see here is the final version of what we're spoon-fed and told is a picture taken by the Himawari from space like you know 10 minutes ago this is the image from the same date and time, October 11th, 2017 at 11.05 a.m. And you can see that the weather is exactly the same. Watch it closely. There's your weather map comprised of simulated and Doppler radar being used to complete a composite image. They do this with the Discover satellite too, the epic camera from a million miles away, they tell us. Ridiculous. Okay. Now, also notice the... Uh, final image has a Terminator line added in to try to make it look like a real picture from space, which drives a nail in the coffin of the Himomori because the weather data shows it over the whole ball completely. But they have to add a Terminator line to show the Earth only par partially lit uh, by the sun based on the time of day that the photo is allegedly taken. So if this is a real picture, how did they know where to put the clouds and weather on the part of the globe with no sunlight? It's completely dark there. 
It's all right here, guys. They are faking space. Hey, we all fell for it for a long time with their Doppler radar and weather simulation software building a current weather picture and wrapping it around a ball in 3D software and pasting it onto a black background like they do with all the others, adding a Terminator line and calling it a real picture from space. Himawari debunked once and for all. This has been Paul on the Plane. Thanks for watching.